If you're looking for the coordinates of Canadian Whiskey's Ground Zero, you'd end up along the banks of the Detroit River in Windsor, Ontario. Here you'd find a place where Canadian Whiskey, specifically J.P. Weiser's Canadian Whiskey, is being made with the same dedication to quality that the namesake set out for his brand in the late 19th century. Thanks to geographic, social and political factors, Pernod Ricard's Hiram Walker & Sons Distillery became and still is the nerve center for Canadian whiskey production. In the late 1800s, J.P. Weiser and the Canadian Whiskey Barons, names like Walker, Corby, Guterham and Wartz were novel innovators and pioneers in the art of making distinct rye whiskey. The Canadian Whiskey Barons competed against moonshiners who made harsh and unpalatable spirits. This was a time of handcrafted wares, and J.P. Weiser was rare. He was one of few with a perfectionist attitude. He, along with the other whiskey barons, offered an alternative. Smooth, flavorful Canadian rye whiskey. These Canadians were innovative, creating flexible products built around rye grain, developing the art of blending which gave distinct spicy nuances or bouquet to all their whiskies. Rye became Canada's key contribution to the whiskey category. It was and continues to be the backbone of Canadian whiskey. Weiser's traditional methods are still honored today, using the same processes to ensure the product in your glass lives up to standards established by JP over 150 years ago. The result, a Canadian rye whiskey known for its rich aroma and body that is complex and perfectly balanced. An exceptional blend of oak, toasted rye grains and rich toffee with a finish that is smooth and enduring. The Hiram Walker Distillery is located on the most southerly point of the Great Lakes watershed, the largest freshwater source in the world. The local area is also rich in agricultural resources and has produced the corn, rye, wheat and barley grains for use at the distillery since its inception in 1858. Upon arrival, every load of grain is thoroughly inspected to ensure freshness and quality, relying on scientific and human senses. The various grains are separated from the start and don't rendezvous again until after the long aging process. Starch is the all-important gem found within the kernel of grain and is necessary for alcohol production. To access the starch, grain is milled into fine flour then mixed with water and malt. The combined mixture is cooked in order to explode open the starch molecule. This allows the enzymes from malt to turn the starch into sugar. This porridge-like mixture is now called mash. The mash is then routed to the fermenters. These massive four-story tanks allow the mash to cool for the addition of yeast. The yeast converts the sugars within the mash into equal parts alcohol and carbon dioxide and creates the flavor signature which contributes to the whiskey character. Yeast strains still in use today have lineage back to JP's time. After three days of fermentation, the mash is now called distiller's beer. It is not what you would normally think of as beer as it is 10 to 15 percent alcohol. At the macro level, the distillation process is simple. The evaporate from boiling mash is cooled and collected as a liquid alcohol. The same process takes place within large copper distillation columns. The alcohol-rich vapor rises like steam and enters a copper condenser where it cools and turns back into liquid called high wines. Distillers can further craft the flavor profile of whiskey through pot distilling, a technique which extracts specific elements produced by the yeast, shaping the whiskey with fruity and floral characters. They rely on the human senses of the distillers to draw out the best flavors. This craftsmanship has been passed from generation to generation of distillers and has not changed in over 100 years. Base corn, rye, barley or wheat whiskies are aged separately in white oak casks. In 1890, Canadians realized the importance of aging whiskey and were the first to mandate a minimum age requirement for their whiskey. This was 25 years before the rest of the world. In those days, casks were used as a means of transportation, and some whiskies would only be aged for a matter of a few weeks. J.P.'s saying was, quality is something you just can't rush. Horses should hurry, but whiskey must take its time. The inside of a white oak cask is charred. Burning the cask serves to improve the character of the whiskey, as wood sugars emerge which add notes of vanilla, 
toffee and caramel smoothness to the whiskey spirit. The whiskey is matured within the Pike Creek Maturation Warehouse facility. Non-climate controlled warehouses, which contain no electricity, allow Essex County's hot, sultry summers and cold, lake-affected winters to do nature's work. The extreme swings in temperature throughout the year maximize the spirit's interaction with the wood cask, adding unique character, complexity, and flavor. The longer whiskey ages, the slightly porous barrel allows for continual evaporation of alcohol, which is called the angel's share. Ultimately, time is the most critical ingredient. Wiser's whiskeys are truly forged by nature's influence. Now, with less volume, casks are brought into the draining facility where they are tapped. The base whiskey and rye whiskeys are drained separately, and the whiskey is routed to a blending tank. Products are then blended together according to secret recipes. Recipes can include the age of spirit, or type of grain, or type of distillation. Master blenders of today carry on J.P. Weiser's dedication to perfection by guarding and honoring the original recipes of Weiser's products. Like J.P. Weiser, they continue to be innovative and develop new products to satisfy consumer demands and tastes. To prepare the whiskey for bottling, water is added to bring the product down to the strength of at least 40% alcohol. The whiskey is chill filtered and then pumped through a series of pipes and valves controlled by the whiskey man. Empty bottles arrive in the same cases in which they will eventually ship. The glass is then sent to a rinser and cleaned using 40% vodka, which ensures they are not only clean, but also not diluted to below the final whiskey strength. The bottles enter the filler and are filled as fast as 375 bottles a minute. The bottle is capped and then labeled. The production lines are modular, allowing for the various sized bottles. While the process is predominantly automated, every step is done under watchful human eyes to ensure quality and safety. Some bottle sizes are even hand filled. Products are cased and sent for shipping proudly displaying the Wiser's name. Wiser's Canadian Whiskey is a rye crafted to be pure, flavorful, and smooth. Many take pleasure in sipping a dram served neat, while others enjoy popular mixtures that incorporate a consistent, high-quality whiskey like Wiser's. However you choose to enjoy Wiser's Canadian Rye Whiskies, remember to do so responsibly. With each sip of Wiser's, the end result is always the same. Pure satisfaction from an age-old quality crafted creation.